All right, let's get straight to it. So Charleston White say that King Von Dyne was an act of God. And just to be honest, from what the Bible say, you feel me? I read the Bible a lot when I was a shorty. The Bible basically say like, yeah, bro, if you're a demon, bro, you're going to be smited by God. And it's going to happen in the biggest and largest way, basically. So for everyone to see that God is all powerful. And what he said in, in regards to King Von uh his music and how strong his voice was and his ability to captivate the people that was you know literally what the devil does or whatever you feel me but this is what i say you know because i don't want to say oh man he was a real demon because a lot of these kids grew up in, in god fearing homes and they just call themselves demons because other people what you call it i don't know if he really was possessed but i he definitely was a serial killer if you know, his lyrics was true, and they say his lyrics was true. Everyone vouches that he was a real street guy and that he murdered a lot of people. Um, I remember one of his verses, he said he killed uh, three plus two, five plus something, and I did the math, and I was like 12 people. So King Vaughn was definitely a serial killer. Um, I know some people who are serial killers who murdered a bunch of people, and they remind me of Vaughn. I, this one guy, literally, I ain't gonna say his name, but he really reminds me of King Von. He don't rap or nothing, but I'm talking about one of the nicest guys. I remember when they told me that he had killed a bunch of people, including a, a woman one time, um, and he killed a little girl by accident. These are people who I know for a fact he killed. And what happened was, I was like, man, bro would never do that because he was so funny to me. He was such a, he's the type of guy when he smiles and lights up the room, he's a, he's a very, very, um, enjoyable figure you know i've never ever seen him mad that's me personally i've never seen him mad so when they were saying yeah he kills people and he's killed a bunch of people i was like nah bro i'm talking about it took so many people to keep saying like i'm like bro they ain't gonna keep saying you no killer if you ain't no killer so what i've learned is you know this we have serial killers in our community and a lot of them have dealt with abuse at a young age and they say that like dealing with abuse at a young age basically triggers something in your brain that makes you want to kill or whatever and so you know that's just the 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 the, the, the mental aspect of it but with that being said i don't really know if that was god's work you know i'm not god and i don't know how god worked but i do believe that it was some truth to what um Charleston White was saying, you feel me? Charleston White definitely pointed out some stuff that it was like, yeah, King Von did fit the mold for that, and it did fit the mold for that, and it did fit the mold for that, and I didn't watch all of the uh, little Timmy interviews or whatever, because to, he, to me, he just wasn't like a super interesting guy to listen to talking, but he did seem at peace. He didn't seem like he was stressing. He didn't seem like he was worried. He definitely seemed like, you know, he don't want to go to prison, but, you know, like he said, he seemed like a guy who was at peace. And he was like, man, you know, uh, basically, long story short, he did what he did. I didn't even watch the part where he talked about killing them because I don't really like to hear dudes really talk about that. You feel me? Because, like, I, I believe that's an eerie thing. You know, death should be respected. And it's not something that's sweet. You know, if you kill somebody, I've always heard that it's easy to kill the second time or whatever. But no one wants to kill um, a lot of people I know who have killed, have nightmares, and have funny what you call it. I've, I've seen people be shot. I've seen people be killed. And honestly, I don't like going past those blocks. You feel me? I remember I, one of the dudes I know growing up, he's dead right now. Um, he shot a bunch of people in front of the club. And I don't really like going in front of that club no more. Because I remember seeing one of the people who was hit. They was twitching. And they survived, but they was they was hurt really bad. And, and they was twitching. And... The blood was everywhere and people people like to romanticize that part but you know those images don't leave your head you know seeing somebody get beat up ain't the same as seeing somebody get shot or somebody get killed I mean, you know i've been a i've been shot at you know i i don't want to talk about the rest of it but like, let's see i've been shot at and you don't never forget you know the sounds of when the bullets hit the car you don't forget the sound of the gun. You don't forget where you was at. Um, your your body turns very, very cold. You, you kind of stiffen up a little bit. Um, th those are the things that they don't talk about. You know, they glorify all these things, but they don't talk about the nightmares. They don't talk about how, how, how PTSD works and how, like, 
you be you be spooked for the rest of your life. A lot of these guys, they're not gangsters, they scary. And basically, you know, they scared they scared to die. I'm not gonna be like, oh man, you know, they not don't do some stuff if they get activated. But a lot of them are just afraid to be a victim and that's what it is. So you know, that's just my thoughts on it. I think that um Charles Dwight said a lot of good stuff. Sometimes I think like we, we get lost in the sauce with the character that he portrays, but that's one of the ones where I like, uh, yeah, basically all of the stuff he said had a point to it. It was That wasn't too much uh, satire, if you ask me. What he said was something that was kind of biblical in so many words. But, um, yeah, that's just that one.